Now this morning, our regular parent, uh, parenting expert joins us in studio to share some knowledge on how parents can entertain their children during the school holidays. Now this is the time of the year where we often spoil children with gifts. Now this morning, we chat to creative parenting expert Nikki Bush about how to make fun out of nothing with your children, creating very special family memories in the process. And these activities need not even cost a cent, just a few minutes of your time. Nikki, lovely to have you in studio. Welcome back. Thanks, Ewan. Yeah, I think this is great because it's very easy, I mean, to give gifts over the festive season and hey, there's your gifts, go have fun, you know, but it's all about family time in the process. That's right, it's about creating togetherness moments. And the funny thing is, the kind of things we're going to be chatting about just now are almost slightly old-fashioned. Okay. And the old-fashioned is stuff kids do not know. Oh. And they find this quite surprising and they find it quite magical. Yeah. So you can actually become the superhero for the moment uh, by introducing them to some of the stuff that you might remember from your childhood. Absolutely. And I can fully agree with that because nowadays it's all about smartphones, it's tablets, you know, there we go, play, oh, awesome game, you know. Um, but it's nice to bring it back to the basics. So what have you got planned? I mean, how do we create that fun moments with our children? So some real fun basics. Um, what I've got here, for example, is a wine glass. So we're moving into the festive season where yeah, we might okay. be decorating our table for Christmas Eve or for Christmas yeah. Day. And this is jelly powder okay. decorating the edge of a wine glass. So just to show the viewers how to do it, you whip up some egg whites and you dip your glass into the egg white. All right. And then you put it into the jelly. And hey, presto, magic, magic, magic. Here we have... Hey, and look at that. The rim of our glass decorated. So you can choose any, any kind of jelly. Well. You could have red, for example, for the festivities. Um, yeah. But honestly, that's the kind of thing that kids love. And as it hardens yeah. and dries, it, it actually goes quite hard. So when they drink out of it later, they'll, they'll be yeah. chewing the edge of the glass, um, <laughs> which in itself is a multi-sensory experience. Yes. And we've discussed many times on this show how important it is to give children a multi-sensory experience that's it, that's uh, exactly. when they're playing with something or interacting with the world. So that is a perfect example of hey, multi-sensory And the grown-ups will love this one as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And you know what? It gives the grown-ups the opportunity to look at this beautiful table and say, my boy or my girl, look what you did. How beautiful is that? That's it. You know, it's giving that praise and encouragement and feedback. Yeah. And then you have some of our favourite things here as well. Come on, these oh, biscuits my goodness, yes. with some marshmallows. <laughs> so, so the s'mores. Okay, so here we have just plain old Mari biscuits yeah. with a bit of a marshmallow. You put it on top, stick it in the microwave oh, till wow. it balloons and bubbles, and then you put another one on top and you squeeze it together to make that marshmallow sandwich. That's magical for children, yeah. and don't you remember how delicious these you are? You know what, I was just, I was just uh, thinking now, you know, thinking back to my childhood, you know, camping as well, going out with the family and around yes. the campfire, you know, toasting your own marshmallows, putting it on those Mari biscuits. Um, it's, it's magical, like you're saying. It is. And, um, I remember when I used to go camping, we used to take bananas and we used to split them in half in yeah. their skins, stick chocolate and marshmallows inside, then wrap it up in tin foil and stick it in the coals. Yeah. Once again, children, things that children today don't yeah. know how to do. But then what about making magic? We can make wine glasses sing. Okay. So you've got one yes, over there. Yes, of I've course. I've got one over here. You've got to dip your finger in some water. I remember this. Okay, let's see if we can get it going. Okay, wait. We had them going beautifully just now. Wait, 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 no. <laughs> oh my goodness. The magic is the gone. The magic's gone. The magic is gone. I bet you if we had like a, a five-year-old in here. No, I I just, I'm just creating wrong. a good vibration here. There we go. Mine's not making any noise. There we go. Can you get it? No, wait, wait. Look at this, eh? just two adults having fun. <laughs> 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 this is probably going to end up being over the holiday season because I'm there trying to get this going. There we go. You got it. It took a while. It took a while. But I mean, this is the great thing because now, I mean, you can teach it and, and they're probably not going to get it the first time around. The other but they're going to be occupied for quite a while. The different shaped glasses yes, make, make different, different sounds. sounds. So you can have a whole lot of different shapes and you can create a little bit of a symphony in an orchestra. I love that. So, yeah, I don't know why that took so long, but it was... It's um, just because we're out of practice. Out of practice. That's all. That's oh. all. I bet, mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the young ones are going to try to get it right within the first couple of seconds. Nikki, thank you so much. Right. We're going to be back with you in just a little bit, talking about how to create fun out of nothing throughout the festive season.